Hello guys, Arlene here. It's no surprise to us that WhatsApp has over a billion downloads. In this video, we're going to talk about how to create group messages, how to send broadcast messages, and how to make video and phone calls. In fact, make sure you stay until the end, because we're also going to talk about the 24-hour status feature. Welcome to Burn to Learn. Stick around. To start a group chat, tap on the three dots in the top right hand corner. Or for iPhone, just tap on New Group. Select the contacts who you want to be in the group. You can add up to 256 people. Tap Next. Now choose a name for your group. And of course, you can include emojis. You can add a picture at this stage by tapping on the picture circle, or one can be added and changed later by any of the group participants. Click Next and your group is now open. You can send texts, pictures, videos, and audio messages just like in any normal chat. If you want to see who in the group has read your messages, hold down on the message and tap the info icon on top. Or if you use an iPhone, swipe your message to the left. To direct your message to a particular person in the group, type Add and select the person you want to message. You can make other participants group administrators so that they can add and delete people from the group. You do so by tapping the group banner, select the contact and group admin. You can also customize the tone so you know when you get a message from that group in the custom notification button. If a group is too active for you, you can mute messages for 8 hours, 1 week or even a year and only check for the latest updates when you have the time. When the time comes, you can exit the group and delete the chat. You can create and be a part of as many groups as you want. Broadcast messages are a very good way to send messages to multiple people more confidentially. To create a broadcast list, go to New Broadcast List and select the contacts that you want to receive the messages. Once you create the list, it will be there until you delete it. Once they've sent the messages, they will appear in the chat that you already have with each contact. What else can you do on WhatsApp? You can send and receive PDFs, Word documents and MP3 files. You can choose a file from your storage cloud or go directly to an app, for example Adobe or Word, and share the file via WhatsApp. Copy and paste a link to an interesting website or even your favorite YouTube video. You can share a contact and get your friends chatting with each other. Did you know you can make international calls over Wi-Fi for free? When using mobile data, you may incur in charges. But to make a phone call or a video call, tap on the chat of the person you want to call. Tap on the phone icon to make a phone call or tap on the video icon to make a video call. Calls are unlimited and as long as you have a steady internet connection, the call quality is good. And finally, we're going to show you how to make use of the status feature. You can now upload a photo or video that will be visible to your contacts for 24 hours. Go into the privacy settings to choose who in your contacts can see your updates. Tap and hold on a contact to mute their status posts, or if you're using iPhone, just swipe it to the left. So, we hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for more WhatsApp videos regarding some tricks. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. See you soon.